Hey guys, sorry there wasn't any reviews this week as I promised, but now I'm giving a video each day this weekend to make up for it. Well, let's get on with the news. Today is September 1st, 2011, and here's all the latest news you need to know about Nintendo. Well, today's the day, Ambassadors. Today you'll be getting your first edition NES games. The games available today for Ambassadors are Super Mario Bros., Donkey Kong Jr., Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, The Legend of Zelda, and the newly announced Wrecking Crew NES Open Tournament Golf, Yoshi, Metroid, and Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. However, these are only the first edition games, and they're pretty much direct ports of the NES games. It only has suspended play, not restore points, but from what I've seen, you can play the multiplayer games if you pass the system onto your friend. So log on to the 3DS eShop after the news, and download those games by going into the settings other, all the way to the left, then going through the Your Download section. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is coming out on November 20th this year, and fans like me are extremely excited, and as you can see now, the official box art has been really revealed. The game will sell for $50, but if you pay a measly extra $20, you can get a limited edition gold Wii Remote Plus with the Hillian Royal symbol over the speaker. The remote will be packaged with the game in a bundle, and this is the only way you can get the remote. Also, all first edition games, which really means pre-orders, or the first ones being sold, whether bought alone or in the bundle, will also include a 25th anniversary symphony soundtrack with songs from the series played by the anniversary orchestra. The event Nintendo was planning for September 13th now has a website, and it is confirmed to be 3DS related, and to be showcasing some new things for the 3DS, mainly the big game being developed that will be announced here. It'll be streamed live by Ustream at 12pm Japan time, so you can figure out the time you have and then find the website. Epic Mickey, the hit Wii game from last year which I very much enjoyed, is getting a sequel. Epic Mickey 2 has been given many names and covers by the game's creators, but no official picks have been made. The game will be made for the Wii, Xbox 360, and PS3, and a 3DS title has been rumored. The game will also include co-op, with Mickey still having his paint abilities, while you can also play as Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, his half-brother, who can fly with his ears and shoot electricity. Professor Layton in The Last Spectre, the fourth installment in the popular puzzle series, is coming to the North American shores also in October, this time on the 17th. The game has a North American exclusive 100 hour RPG included called Professor Layton's London Life, where players can create their own London cartoony character and travel the town doing many odd jobs. Well that's the big news this week, now I've got some questions for you guys. Answer in the comments below because I'd love to hear what your thoughts on these questions are. First, which are you more excited for? Professor Layton in The Last Spectre, or Professor Layton's London Life. Also, will you be getting The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword in the bundle or alone? Well, that wraps up this week's news. Thanks for your patience this week, and look for a few reviews this weekend in a new segment. If you enjoyed this or any other of my reviews or videos, please subscribe, and hope to see you next time.